Why are my incremental backups so large? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Here's a question I got some time ago. I thought that incremental backups were supposed to be a lot smaller than what I'm getting. They include only things that have changed since the day before, right? The incremental backups I'm seeing are way, way bigger than just the file or two I updated since yesterday. What gives? Absolutely, the size of incremental backups often surprises people. All you do is you edit one small document and the next day your incremental backups being ends up being a gigabyte or more in size. It doesn't necessarily make sense. The issue, of course, is that Windows, <laughs> among other things, is a very busy operating system. We think in terms of our own data, the documents we edit, the pictures we upload, the work we do on our computer. Backing that data up daily is a critical part of what it means to back up at all. These are all files we don't want to lose in case of failure and files we expect our backup regimen to take care of for us. But it's very easy to overlook that there's so much more going on than just what you and I do. There's Windows itself, and it does a lot. Even if you do nothing with your computer all day, meaning it's running, but you never touch it, Windows is still working hard. Programs making up the operating system itself are running. Programs that auto start when you log in are running. Updates are being checked both by Windows and other programs. Your security software is running and scanning periodically as well as checking for database updates and more. There's just a lot going on. And what that means is that files are being changed. Files like the system swap or paging file, temporary files, data files used by the individual programs, like say your security software, the Windows registry, that database of configuration and other settings, the event log and other logging files, and probably a whole lot more. This often represents much more of the day-to-day -day change than anything you might have done yourself. Additional culprits include the software you run. They often change much more than just the files you're working on. And some change files even if you didn't actually work on anything at all. If you fire up, say, a word processing program, you would expect that your document would change, of course, if you make edits. But in addition, that program may also cause changes in its own administrative files to keep track of things like most recent edits, undo information, or the documents you've recently accessed. Temporary files that it uses as part of doing its work. Settings or other information that has been updated in the registry or elsewhere. And of course, changes again within the system swap file. Another example, if you browse the web, everything you view is downloaded to your machine and placed in your browser's cache. This cache then appears as a changed file and would be included in the next incremental backups. Even for programs where you yourself don't change anything, things can change a lot. So with so much possibly changing every day, it's important to realize that, yeah, this is how your computer works and you really do want to back all that stuff up. When something goes wrong later and you want to restore a backup taken on a particular day, the changed information might well be critical to getting your system back to the state it was in when you took the backup. But aside from getting a larger external disk, what else can you do to manage the size of your backups? Choices fall into two buckets, I'll call it. Backup less, backup less often. One thing I recommend doing is running Windows Disk Cleanup. It will allow you to remove several things that you may not need and that may contribute to the size of your backups. Similarly, CCleaner, while overlapping some with Windows Disk Cleanup, will also clean out more things, particularly for many applications that aren't actually part of Windows. Many of the things that Windows Disk Cleanup and CCleaner remove may come back as you use your computer, but much of it will not. For all that doesn't come back, your backups, particularly the initial full image, will be smaller. While it's not my first choice, you can also alter how often you take incremental images. If you take them every day, well, you might schedule them every other day instead. Now, 
Unfortunately, I can't really give you hard numbers or even percentages of what to expect in terms of size for your own incremental backups. It varies a lot, depends on the software you use, how you use your machine, what software is installed and running and so forth. One person's incremental backup might be one tenth the size of another's, and it could all be quite appropriate and necessary. What I can say is that I would much rather have you back up too much than not enough. And what that means is that the easiest and honestly the safest solution might well be just getting a larger external hard disk. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 19762. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.